Hey, beautiful. In today's episode of Motivation, Makeup, and Mimosa, we're going to talk about how to be a girlfriend, even when you're a wife. I know that was supposed to be the topic of the day last time, but I didn't get to it. We're going to talk about the blood moon, the crimson tide, Auntie Flo visiting, the curse. Yep, that's right. We're going to talk about the time of the month again. And today's topic of the day is how to keep calm and period. So if you're not a member, make sure that you go and you sign up and become a member so that you can watch this full extended version of this video. Okay, let's get into it. Hi, how are you today? I hope you're having an amazing day. As for me, I'm amazing, terrific, and perfectly splendid. I'm Jay Marie. I'm a high-end luxury boudoir photographer. This guy right here is Monkey. He's my co-host. And today, we're here to talk about love, light, and everything ladylike. So you already know what day it is. It is Monday. That means it is Motivation, Makeup, and Mimosa Monday. Burr, 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 burr. That means that when I take a sip, you take a sip, all right? We sipping. Last video, I was telling you how um, me and babe pretty much, you know, we was doing the nasty up in the car or whatever. It's so funny because he heard the end of the video and he was like, baby, you really think I'm sexy? Like, that's really how you feel about me? Later on, he's walking around the house and he's like, I'm sexy, I'm sexy, I'm sexy. And I felt like he was, I thought he was doing the TikTok, but then I realized he doesn't do TikTok. So this man's just literally feeling himself. I love the vibe, his high energy. Like, I love how talking about him and our experience made him feel like, and then he goes, don't tell nobody that I said this, babe. <laughs> he goes, I don't even want to tell you nothing because you're just going to go tell YouTube. Hey, no, don't eat my necklace. Don't do that. That's a quick way to get voted off of my shirt. Second thing I want to talk to you about is realizing when you have period brain. All right. So let me explain what period brain means to me. It happens the week before I get my actual like period. I can feel it. I can feel my thoughts turning dark. I can feel the negativity in my brain. My period is actually not as bad as period brain week. Like period brain week is way worse. I didn't even think that was a real thing. I started thinking that I was going insane low key. That's whenever I got on good old Google and they pretty much said I was dead. <laughs> so it's like, you gotta know yourself. You gotta know that you're not normally a negative thinker. You don't normally just see the bad side of things. You are usually up and positive. You are normally chipper. You are a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to know yourself to know yourself. Oh, now I'm missing a bro. It's like my period brain literally takes over. And I was explaining to him, like, we get this, like, boost of testosterone the week before your period. And that's why we feel so crazy. That's why I want to punch and scream and fight. But I want to be held and cuddled and gifted with snacks and chocolate at the same time. And then the best thing you can do in that moment I found out for me, for my relationship, the best thing you can do is just say it. Hey, I'm about to start my period. And so I just, I'm mentally like checked out a little bit right now. Please be patient with me. Please be loving with me. But I love to argue when I'm on my period. I want to argue all the time. I want to, it's, it's just, it's all rubbish. It's been 15 years of doing this. It's time to grow up. It's time to realize who you are it's time to be aware of your body it's time to like make changes do something that's gonna better your relationship and your life ladies we're not the only ones going through this like our spouses our partners our kids anybody who lives with you and you're on your period they're subjected to your bullshit as well Take responsibility, take accountability. Notice whenever you're being an asshole. We're meant to excuse our actions because we have periods. Like it's, it's giving very entitled, isn't it? It's not okay for you to act that way. I don't care if you are bleeding for seven days and seven nights. Your people, they know you. My people, they know me. My kids, they know who I am. 
they know how I act. And when I'm not acting in my normal manner, they're gonna ask questions. I'm trying to teach my kids about communication and staying open. And I straight up tell them like, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry if I'm acting different. I'm sorry if I'm a little distant. I'm on my period. And my kids, I love having this like conversation with them because they're little boys. And I'm just trying to teach them that women are completely different and you need to respect their space. You need to respect the things that they have going on with them. They know pretty much everything about the period. I just, like I told you before, I don't talk about bleeding for seven days. I think that might kind of trip out my kid. My mom is a monster. She bleeds for seven days and still hasn't died. I don't know what's happening. Like, I just literally, like, okay. They can learn about that when they get older. Add another baddie to my to-do list. Just send me the Addy and we can do this.